Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is a, a bit of a requested video. I've had a lot of people asking me how to wire up this treadmill incline assembly. And there's no diagram, but I'll just, I'll make it clear how it's done. So um, you people that need to know will now know. So you get your plug. Now, different incline assembly motors might have different wires coming out of them. But this one's got the black, white, and red. But yours might be different. Might be blue, brown, and yellow. It it could be anything. I don't know. I've not taken many of these out of treadmills. But this particular one is black, white, and red. So you've got this is your plug. This plugs in your wall. So on this particular one, one side of your line goes goes right to the white wire. Mirror at it. Right onto the white wire, goes right into the motor. That's all you need to do for that one. The other side of your line, now if you've got a three, if you've got a three-way switch, well, setter's off, then you got that way, and you got that way, but that's spring-loaded. So in the center, it'll be this. So your pin, um, so your line comes in here, this orange wire I'm holding, and that goes to your center. So that's the other side of your line, right there, your center pin. So when it's here, and the switch is in the middle, it does nothing. Now the other side, depending on which way you move the switch, so if I move it this way, to the one on this one, that puts power to this orange wire here, the one on the end, this guy, with the blue end here. I've got that wired to the red wire, and that goes directly to the motor, and that's it. Now, if I move the switch the other way, but it's spring loaded, it won't stay there, but you get the idea. It energizes the white wire and de energizes the orange wire. So the white wire gets mirrored to the black wire and goes in. Because this is a two, this is a um, bi directional, it's reversible motor. So that's why instead of, um, instead of just two wires, it's got three. I mean, it does have a run cap, but that's wired in separately. You shouldn't have to touch that. So I'm just zooming out a bit, so you can just kind of see this a little better. But this sh this should satisfy all you people that really want to know how to wire this up. Um, I don't really know what to tell you if the color coding is different on your motor. If you're lucky, it is the same, but if you're different, you might just have to experiment with it. But if you're lucky, you'll have a white wire, and that'll usually be one side of your line. The other two would most likely be your forward and reverse. So uh, I hope this little video helps you people wire this wire this up. And um, yeah, enjoy. And uh, just be careful that you are dealing with electricity and and mains voltage. So wrap your ends up and put mirror rats on them. Or if you don't have mirror rats, at least use electrical tape or something just to cover the ends. So, so you don't kill yourself. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching um, and uh, have fun.